Hi, I wanted to talk about a alternating circuit, a switching circuit. Now, since we're talking about circuits, we know that on a circuit you have to have your power supply, you have your conductor, and then you're going to have to have some kind of a switch. You're going to have, in this case, a switch like this. Now, we know that this happens to be a temperature switch. When the temperature increases, that's going to close and it's going to send power on through. So this is basically what they call a cooling thermostat, a cooling switch. So anytime it in the temperature increases, power goes through and it's going to turn on the compressor. But what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about having compressor number one and then compressor number two. So we basically have two compressors on here. We don't want to run one compressor all of the time. We want to switch back and forth. We want to make sure that they both get the same amount of running time. So what we're going to do, we have a power supply. Here's my conductor. Here's my switch. And now I have another switch right here. So now I'm going to run compressor number one, and it's going to go back to where it came from. When it starts up again, this is going to come down and run compressor number two. But for this, we're going to have to have what they call an alternating relay. Alternating relay. What this relay is going to do is it's going to switch this back and forth. But because it's a relay, we see that it has the switches right here. It has that switch. So we're going to have to come from here and we're going to have to feed power to this because this is an electrical component. Got to have power coming in. At the same time, we're going to have to have power going out. Again, that's a relay. Got to have power coming in, power going out. At the same time, we need to let it know that the compressors are running. So now we're going to have to have a power supply like this. So when, when our cooling thermostat calls, power is going to travel through here, send the alternating relay a signal so that it knows that the compressor is running, the compressor is going to run. Now, once this satisfies, it's going to turn power off. This relay is going to move down here. So when it calls for cooling again, power is going to go through here and run compressor number two. When this is satisfied, this relay is going to switch back up here. Once it switches up here, compressor number one is going to run. So now we have an alternating relay in the circuit. Because of that, we're going to alternate between lead and lag compressor. We're going to be switching both of these compressors. Now this relay, yeah, this relay is going to have to have different connections to it, like we just saw. So we're going to have to have a connection here. Let's say this is A1 and this is A2. So this is for your coil. That's your coil coming in. This is going to be your signal so that it knows that the compressors are running and that the compressors have been shut off. Then you're going to have to have two other connections so that you can run compressor number one and then compressor number two. So we're going to alternate between the two so that we can keep the same amount of time on both of these compressors and we're alternating from one to the other. So this is your uh, alternating circuit, your switching circuit. This is Julio from Aircon Academy. Take a look at my web page, take a look at uh, my page on Facebook, and I have more, more information on there. Thank you.